everyone. It is Pal Ponder on Weather coming to you with my week ahead forecast for September 9th through the 13th. Actually, every Sunday morning, I'm going to be releasing a new video going over the week ahead so you can guys can plan ahead for your week. Uh, before we do get started, please consider subscribing to my channel if you do like weather related content and always leave a comment below on what you would like to see more of on this channel. All right, so let's kind of take you through time and take you through the week. So uh, for your Monday morning commute, you can see in the Northwest sections of Oregon and Washington, you do have some rain showers uh, coming in, but you guys are gonna be in a chilly rain in the upper 50s and the low 60s. Where it's gonna be in the drier regions and in, into Texas in the 70s and near 80 degrees in the Dallas Fort Worth area, low 70s in Louisiana, again, little, lower 70s into Florida, but you do see some 50s kind of filtering into Pennsylvania and, and where you guys been been seeing the, the nicest weather up in Maine, low 40s for, uh, for you coming up on your Monday morning commute. So as we take you into Monday afternoon, you can see that ridge still dominating over uh, Texas where you're gonna be near 100 degrees again, low 100s in Louisiana and Florida, where you've been kind of baking, unfortunately, after the Dorian scare on that sinking air at the backside where the humidity has been approaching almost 110 degrees with the higher dew points. Um, again, you're going to be baking in the, in the upper 90s region and almost to 100 degrees in the Savannah area. But you do have some lower 60s coming in for you guys in the Chicago region and some upper 50s in the Wisconsin, where you do have some rain showers in Nebraska and filtered in into Colorado. For your Tuesday morning commute, we still have those 70s into Texas, 70s, low 80s, as that ridge kind of builds throughout the week, but you do have some lower uh, lower 40s and really feel really nice in, into Idaho and even some 30s popping up in uh, Colorado, but pretty dry for your Tuesday morning commute the only precipitation really around is the upper Wisconsin region. And for Tuesday afternoon, you can see that high moving northeast and kind of expanding uh, as it propagates northeast throughout the week, where you can see those upper 90s and low 100s going into, into Georgia by now and low 90s still into Florida. And as this ridge builds up, you still are hanging on to the upper 50s in Maine. And not much uh, rain to speak of other than uh, the upper, upper Nakota's region and upper uh, Minnesota region. So as we take you into Wednesday morning, we do have some that little clipper system coming in and a little bit cooler air off the northwest flow. We're, we're going to be near freezing in the elevations of Colorado, and that's going to feel a, a really nice. We're going to have frost and freeze warnings, but uh, 50 degrees warmer into Texas uh, lows. And as that southeast ridge builds throughout the week, upper, upper 70s and low 70s for much of the country for your, for your Monday, Wednesday morning commute. And Wednesday afternoon, we've got middle 90s and that ridge expanding and moving eastward as we go throughout the week and still some hundreds showing up but now filtering into, into Tennessee and the Virginia Valley where we're doing some 50s coming, coming into the Idaho and Minnesota and now lower 60s and and Maine is setting your upper upper 50s. So as your Thursday morning commute we do see that colder air still pushing in. We do have a cold front coming from the Northwest. We're gonna be in the low low 40s into Idaho and, and, and Nevada region. Again, hanging out of the 30s and the upper elevations of Colorado. We can still, we can see some rain showers kind of pushing in, pushing in from the, off the Northwest flow. But overall, 70s dominate for mo most of the country as that ridge just is expanding throughout the week. And by Thursday afternoon, you can see that cold front that's evident, pushing some rain showers into Texas, into the Amarillo region, all the way up through uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. But again, the dominant feature is that high pressure where it pushes even low 90s now into Chicago and Ohio. As we go into Friday morning, 
we can see that cold front hanging on, pushing some rain showers, approaching the Dallas Fort Worth area, but even below freezing now in Colorado as you as you hit your low for the week. And some 30s, 30s pick, uh, showing up in Wyoming. But again, that South East Ridge is dominating, pushing those low 70s all the way up in upper Wisconsin region by now. And by Friday afternoon, I'm going to point you to a feature down in Florida where there is that tropical disturbance moving in by then. The next name is Humberto, but most of the models were have it pushed and propagating over Florida. So you have, again, tropical activity over the Florida region, potentially pushing in into the Gulf of Mexico by, by next weekend. But that ridge still dominates up in Texas and still pushing in into the Northeast regions. So that kind of gives you an overall idea how how this week is going to play out the next five days. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, catch me at the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.